Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more loop. Hero. We... We can't build anything else here before we go on yet another expedition. And while we do that, we have a new card to care about to potentially add. If we add it, we gotta remove another card, of course. And uh, truthfully, I like—I don't know if uh, removing the Vampire Mansion was inherently a good call. Like, I, I'm super lost about what we should ditch. I feel like Oblivion is important. Uh, hell, maybe we can ditch Beacon. Maybe. A worthless landmark in a world with no direction. Uh, maybe we ditch that and we add the Swamp. I kinda wanna add... The Vampire Mansion is the thing. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop is very tempting. Other than that... Uh, could we... I guess we could remove the cemetery and add the Vampire Mansion, I suppose. I don't know if that's, like, a good idea. But if we're gonna have the Blood Grove, we need the Grove. So... Uh, let's just... We'll try this out, right? We have two potions, I believe. Plus two, wait, oh, plus two every loop. Hold up, that's, I misunderstood that. That's so much better than I uh, had anticipated. And there's the potion. Charges left too, so I suppose we can probably just click it up there. Gotcha, gotcha, a vampire mansion right off the bat. I mean, should I? Let's do it. Vampire Slime. I mean, it, it'll give us uh, more experience right off the bat here, like, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna put this on immediately. Four defense, two magic damage, which I believe is effectively effectively just bonus damage. Uh, defensive two. Still not 100% sure if that uh, does, like, pierce armor or not. Let's see, we want it... Here? This layout, we don't have, like, as clean of a spot with this loop to logically do the old mountain thing. But I think, like, right there would be good. We got our meadow. We can put down... Uh, we can wait. We can wait. Oh, that's right. We do have to fight another vampire here. I mean, hopefully they'll give us some good stuff. We got that swamp. We don't even know exactly what that does yet. Whoop. Put down the rock. We got swamp. Spawns a mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here, except for potions. Wow. That's interesting. So if we go for the swamp, we should almost not bring any, uh, any lifesteal. That's interesting. If we're building this, then we should probably build into counter and evasion. In theory. Uh, where do we put this, though? I don't really want to put it by the vampires. It seems like a really, uh, terrifying... Terrifying spot for that. Like, I'm kind of wanting to put it somewhere that we will, uh, be able to... Put down, like, different things to nerf it. Let's pop it there, then. Maybe we do put down the meadow. So, can you heal via the meadow in the middle of combat? I suppose you probably can, can't you? If the day happens to, to tick down at that point. All right, that's that. Uh, I would like to put down like a grove here so that we can put down a uh, the insta-kill the blood grove near it so we could hopefully take down those mosquitoes a little bit quicker. Okay, we got... I mean, let's take a look at what we got. I mean, it's damage and HP. I mean, like, what else? You know, what else? <laughs> of course. Okay, so we got the wood. Obviously, there's no mosquitoes yet for us to be concerned about. Should we just start placing down these meadows? We had another rock. I'm definitely gonna put down that. I mean, I could just wait until we... I don't think that's worth going for. Got another rock. All right. First, I mean, first loop. You know, what do you, what do you, what do you expect? They are going to get tougher. There's not a whole lot we... Uh, I mean, I guess we probably did a decent amount of action. Enemy level is two. 
can see that up there now. I mean, I, I knew that that's kind of what was happening, so we... I guess we're going for the uh, the evasion instead, because I don't want to destroy myself. We have a uh, treasury. One treasury. Why'd I do that? Well, because I guess I'm going to put stuff here. Okay. Save this one, maybe. Put down the rock right there. Okie dokie. All right. So I also was informed that there's a resource that we can only gather when we have too many cards and we start to discard some. So that's an important thing to know for sure. All right. There we go. It's a little bit of lost value in the Blood Grove, of course, there. Yeah. So they moved to the adjacents there. We can put the meadow here. It should grow. Now we'll put it there. We'll get the resources. Okay, let me see. Living has a soul. Oh, it's actually, like, really... Not too bad. Actually, not too bad at all. Okay, so what else? Anything else to do with... Doubles the effect of days passing. I Does that mean, like, each day passing counts as two days, so it spawns them quicker, or, or what? I don't know. But I will put down the chrono crystals, because I'm a crazy lad. A mad lad, as they, uh, they say. Oh, God. It's... It's a little sketchy what we're doing here. I'm tempted to put down a grove here. All right, we're, we're just gonna overload that little corner right there. Shall I? Okay, so we fully loaded that. We got the extra mountains there. This is gonna be giving us extra stuff. I'm obviously going to uh, put down more blooming meadows around that kind of chrono, chrono crystal area. You know, 8% vampirism, it should be okay. So it's, it's certainly concerning. Because it's all combat on that area. It's not just all combat against mosquitoes. Okay, so there we go. Harpies can now spawn. So if we put it here, theoretically we get double double chests and no nobody here should be Okay, so that's what I was about to say, is I guess theoretically, <laughs> theoretically the rot wolves can go down there, but we can fight one, like, if it's just every stray rot wolf. Wait, hold on, can we? Uh. Shoot. So we can't place this on the outside border, yeah? So there there should be a border that we can place. So uh, I guess that kind of is fine. We shouldn't have placed this here. It would have been better for us, but oh well. It's a, it's a hindsight thing. Another vampire mansion. Defense up, evasion 10%. Eh. So far, so fine. Oh, hell! Of course, Battlefield, of course. Is that okay? We could put a Battlefield on the other side. We could just straight up spawn those dang slimes. Oh, that's a gargoyle! It is artificial life, so. Uh, awesome, we got that in at really good time. We can get rid of that vampirism so we don't take that penalty. Ah, it's a mimic, too. Oh, my God. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Brutal! Okay, so. Rock. Rock. Oblivion. 
All right, good stuff. Holy cannoli, these are going to be some messy fights, but they are, a lot of them are going to be through the Blood Grove. This is within the realm of Ghostopolis. Okay. Huge defense up, attack speed up. Seems worth it. All right, let's put down our Blood Grove. All right. I know we can spawn some more bad boys as a result, but I think that's fine. I think it's worth it. I think it. I think it helps us out. Okay, extra rock. Pause. Uh, double mosquitoes. Monster mosquitoes. Oh, the evasion. That must be like kind of one of the passive innate things. Is super good evasion. That would make sense. I mean, like, I, I'm evading the hell out of him as well, though. Meadow. I'm gonna actually pop one right there. Because it should get duped by the, uh, by the crystals there. We'll fill this up over the course of this. All right. Our damage is not great. Yeah, I'm... I'm, uh, I'm feeling the pain for sure. But as soon as we get through here... We're going to be entering um, the easier part of our map, at the very least, so that should help. Okay. And here comes a uh, big old spooky monster. The blood monster on the next pass. We do have three... We have three potions, and we restore two per loop. How do you use that? I'm left clicking it. All right, pause, road lantern. Uh, certainly think that we should keep this stuff in check. God, I wish that reached. You could also chrono crystal this. Not my favorite, but that should help too. Uh, honestly, that might be a good idea too, with the, the battlefield being around there. Fill this stuff up. All right. I mean, I'm left clicking it. Oh, when your life is in danger, so it's automatic. Well, that's nice, I guess. Oh. <laughs> it used it just used it just used it automatically there. Alright, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Can't be too mad. Alright, so we got a gargoyle and a harpy. We could ditch him. With oblivion, we do have that still. Probably gonna hold off on the vampire mansion as of right now. Spiders. Good stuff, good stuff. Attack speed counter up. Extra HP up, sounds good to me. Spider, bring it on. They're not too, like spiders are not too bad. They historically seem like they are easy enough to handle. Yes, I know we put them in a spot where one of them is going to overlap with the vampire mansion. That is totally okay. I. Okay, so he cannot gain life steal. That actually works out pretty well then. I mean, kind of. Like this is certainly scary. Uh, vampirism up. I would rather not at this moment, due to fear. Defense up. Damage to all. I'll take it for the damage up. Uh, neutral vibes. Okay, come on now. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, ba 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 ba. Ha ba 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 ba. Ha wa 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 wa. Does this grow uh, better near mountains too? I don't know. Let's just we'll, we'll fill this out. 
Which will, I know, just spawn more guard goils. Oh man, we are... We are, we're pushing it, but as we mentioned in the last episode, I think that pushing it is kind of what you're supposed to do. You know? Like, you kind of want to be in danger until the end. You want to, like, you want to have a terrible, scary time until you slowly, like, pull up the plane and you start soaring into the sky. And I think that, uh, I think that we might be on our way there. We might be on our way there. Alright, so here we go. How's this gonna look? Uh, defense up, evasion up, a little bit of damage up. I'll take it. Defense 14, magic damage. Instead of damage to all. I'll take that too. Hold on. What the hell? Another swamp, you say. Bring on some more gargoyles, I guess. I gar guess. I'm putting that there with the hope of putting down a mountain here. Got a couple groves. We've got another swamp. Oh. No. It's a little sketchy. Oh god, here's the monster. Pause. Oh wait, we can't pause. We have to just straight up do this. Vampirism. We are not on that tile where that would be a problem. We could do it. But I think we just go for it, baby. Oh, this is looking fine. Fine. Oh, I meant to pause. If we pause right here, does that make it so when the fight is over, we... I think so. All right, we got a couple meadows. Let's learn. Okay, so yeah, it does uh, It does get them all good. Putting them by a, uh, a rock there. Got that mountain. Got another rock. I mean, two blood groves there sounds very terrifying. We don't have to put down everything. That's what, like, you know, people have been telling me that. Like, you don't have to put down everything. That being said, I'll put down the spiders because they're not too bad. There's, like, this uh, innate, like, oh, I feel like I want to play on curve, you know? And I want to play every, uh, every resource that's given to me. But that's not quite, not quite the thing. Road Lantern, however, I feel like if we can make this, uh, this go well, I think we, uh, I think we go for it. Just make it so we don't get overwhelmed in that spot that we'll have the, uh, the Demon Blood Lord. See, look at, yeah, our, our HP is going, uh, going better. Why didn't we use this one? Honestly, like, how much, uh, benefit is it to have all of the stats in the same thing anyways, like, compared to just focusing in on one with that other stat? Like, is that necessarily better in all scenarios? Probably not. Okay, got another battlefield, we got another oblivion. I'm gonna, can we reorder these? We can't reorder them, so if we want to use that oblivion, we gotta use that oblivion. Oh, these spiders, are, they're a little bit, uh, doing a little bit. Not a lot, but they're giving us these resources, which is really nice. Oh, so if you put something else by the meadow, it, like, auto-does it for you. Okay. Even if it was already placed. See, that's not something that I thought. I did not think that. That's good to know. Pause, 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 pause. Otherwise, we're going to lose some mountains. Um, sort of new mountain spot up here. Hello, guard goil. That we are wrecking. Bop. Bop, get out of here. No. Doing good work, doing good work. 
Okay, we're about to uh, overflow our cards, and I kind of, I'm here for it. I want to see, wait, what? <laughs> overflow when? Are we overflowing? I'm trying to analyze it. Yes, we are. It burns the thing over there. We get some kind of special resource. We got memory fragment. We got a memory fragment there. We got another memory fragment. Okay. So there's certainly a reward for not using everything. That being said, I'm going to use all these meadows as we are offered them. Okay. Sure. That actually works pretty well. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, I like that a lot. Should give us a lot of regen per day. Oh boy, here we go. Into spooky land. I think we should take the extra armor there. That's fine. We can spawn a blood golem. Meadow. Bop. Good stuff, 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 good stuff. I don't think we need that. Yeah. Alright. So far, so fine. I feel like we're doing pretty decent. We have no vampirism, which is, uh, good. <laughs> good today. Okay, uh, there's another one of those. I'm just gonna continue to delete them because it seems like it's going okay. Like, we're doing that and it doesn't seem to really be uh, causing massive problems, per se. Okay, we got another meadow. We are gonna need to put another thing uh, here. Could put a vampire mansion there, I guess. Or if we put a... Sure. Got another road lantern. I guess we put it here. Another meadow. Oh my god, we are... We're indeed getting like a lot of overflow stuff here. danger, but we, we gotta make our life difficult. That's how we, uh, get stronger. If we make it to the end, I think we're gonna make it to the end of our loop with more HP than when we, uh, we started it, so. Or, like, when we get our heal. I think we'll be nearly at full HP, so that's hardly a problem. Is it worth two defense to lose out on resources? I'm gonna say no, because we're probably just gonna get a cooler shield in, like, two seconds. in work putting in work cleanse full hp just like that dude oh baby gargoyle is that worth it i don't know we're doing a lot of damage so maybe it is okay i wonder what kind of synergies there are with the uh, the blood swamp I'll take that. What does our damage to all look like? It's okay. It's all right. Is this in the lantern? That is in the lantern spot. Good. I'll go for it then. Wait, it's a hungry one? Why would it, wait? Why were we allowed to put it there then? I don't get it. Is it because it's a? It's adjacent to another blood grove? 
We can put it down because there's a blood grove by it. All right. Well, in that case, we will want to. Uh, do we want to oblivion the blood grove or oblivion the swamp? Let's oblivion the swamp. And another grove that should make that all happy. Uh, I kind of want to save these meadows so we can put down one of these. Hopefully we draw. Whoa! Hopefully we draw one of those. That'd be awesome. So we could drop it right here. Get so much value that way. Awesome. So does regen per second count as a heal? I guess I've not been thinking about that. Treasury. Whop. Whoop. 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 Chrono crystals. Okay, what's happening here? So we get the extra HP there. Good. Uh, we'll finish up. Oh, heavens do bet. See, I was not ready for you. Oh my God, look at all those boosts he gets because we didn't build anything around home. Oh, we're, we're screwed, man. Uh-oh. He gets a boost on literally everything. We built literally nothing. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Wait. Oh, no. I think I did the math wrong, too. I think it's more. Uh-oh. Well, at least we get to listen to the bomb. Here comes hell. Here comes hell. We are gonna be in a hell. I wonder if the uh, the enemy level whoop, scales up. You know, like the that man. Spooky scary man. Sp spooky lich man. I honestly think at this point we almost want to put down the mountain just there. Well, no, we want to we want to try our best to live any way possible. All right. Pause. Mountain. Meadow. Oh boy. God, he is going to be so beefy. I'm so scared. Okay. Uh. Uh -huh. Is there anything else we can do? I mean, the, the best we can do is just have these potions uh, and then hope we don't get too bodied here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Meadow there. Oh, God. Two shot, please. Uh, okay. Well, we're, we're gaining HP. I feel like we'll gain HP against the Rot Wolves, too. Rot wolves. Rot woofs. Okay. Thank you, bro. Help me out there. Okay. Well, we're not going to get to there anyways. I guess unless we beat the Lich. Then maybe we would. Okay. Almost there. Somebody, please give me... Anybody give me another meadow. One more meadow. Otherwise, I'll... Okay. Sure. Oops. Don't want to insta... I mean, I don't want to oblivion these guys because I wanted to see if we could get another chance to uh, put down something. We could leave. It's an interesting thing to note. So none of these we can place up there. I feel like, why would we leave, right? Because we would lose a lot of our resources and it's probably a good idea to leave. Is that why? Is that why? Just take a moment to make sure that none of this is important. We could put on this, like the vampirism penalty. I don't really care, but the defense seems really good. Uh, I think we just keep our 
just, uh, oh, we, well, we switched that for sure. All right. Hello, Mr. Lich. I shall fight you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, it was 40. 35% extra. That, that, we really got to remember to, uh, to buff that stuff up. How is it possible? Shut up. We got a score to settle. Seven boosts. Yeah, we're screwed. Oh, where are we? Potions? The days swapped over there. Oh my god, it's so close. No, the evades! You've got to be kidding me. Please evade. No! You've got... You piece of trash! You piece of trash, man! Oh my god, mister! We were literally one hit away. If he- if there were- if he didn't evade, then we would have killed him. Uh, if we would have gotten one more evade, we would have killed him. If we would have broken one more building, we would have killed him. Uh, if we would have built literally one tile, one other extra tile around our camp, we would have killed him. If we would have had an upgrade of just minor proportions in literally any stat category, we would have killed him. Oh my god, that is terrible. Oh, that hurts. Oh, uh, that sucks. At least we can make something. Special ability to gain special traits after killing monsters in expeditions. Unlocks the village card. I mean, that sounds good. We could obviously get an upgrade, but let's get a gymnasium. Don't want to connect those there. Hmm. So that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. That's a nice trick. There's no ill intent. Without an education, our world would be left to the savages. You too could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah, I already know all I need to. Leave learning to the kids. Your first lesson, learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. So what is it? So the gymnasium... Unlocks the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters. Unlocks the village card. All right. Well, what do? Can we upgrade anything? Do we have the resources for? Oh my god. I doubt it. Nope, not at all. Uh, you know what? Let's get one more expedition in here. Village, heals. What? Wool. Heals fifteen plus five times loop HP upon entering. Want to just try that, maybe? Let's give that a go. Let's blitz it. Times two speed on. Let's get it. All right. Yikes, man. Oh, that hurts. It's so freaking close. Let's save the. We'll save the old meadows there. Preemptively set down the chrono crystals so that we put like a treasury up there. So rock. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 chart this out. Mountain, mountain. Wait. Mountain. Right. Mountain. Rock. 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 So if that's the case. You put the beacon. here. 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 We want the beacon he here. So if we're putting the beacon here, here. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> if we're putting the beacon here, 
we want our mountains to end right here so if we just put it right here be like this couldn't build above it then but that's kind of okay so this one the rock will go here all right we'll save the chrono crystal until we get one of those uh those special treasuries all right we have to wait until we get a treasury sure would take that let's put a vampire mansion down somewhere honestly wait does that add a I, I hold on wait a minute i was under the impression for oh no i was under the impression that that would not add something to the uh the final boss fight i figured it was its own unique thing but maybe i'm wrong uh-oh uh, i definitely like the idea of adding like a grove just here i think we want to just make sure we uh kind of clog up the beginning area there uh, battlefield I think we kind of want to put just out on its own where we will hopefully not have it turn anything into ghosts because the ghosts can be rough I mean or maybe we want that maybe we do want ghosts maybe we do want ghosts I'll Put it here to plan accordingly, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Like, yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if I want ghosts. Do I actively want ghosts? Sure. We can put that there because then we can spawn spawn the uh spawn the blood blood clouds. Take the evasion up instead. All right, I'm just hoping we get our treasury so we can start placing some of our other things there. Get bodied. Okay, so we'll take that, obviously. Regen, damage, get a little bit of regen. We don't we don't have to uh, say no to vampirism now if we don't want to. Oh my god. Because we, are, we don't have those guys uh, in our pool. put like a road lantern here all right attack speed up regen up short sure, cool gotcha uh all right we in there oh boy oh boy do we do it let's do it what could possibly possibly go wrong can we put a grove on top of it no but we could probably like Huh. Hmm. It's a little spooky, I'll say. All right, we have another spider cocoon. Should we drop it? Let's drop it down. Those I feel like are pretty being being useful. What is this? What the hell is this XP points? What? Wait, has that XP points been there the whole time? Am I crazy? Am I losing my G darn mind? What? All right, come on. We got to draw that card sometime. Deck builder, deck builder's fallacy. I feel like we just keep our stuff right now. We get more resources if we don't equip this stuff, so... You know what I'm saying? Alright, extra mountain. What do we got here? Max HP up by quite a bit. That's a big old... Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, blood clots can spawn here every four days now. And they can turn into ghosts because they are living. Uh, if we get Oblivion, it might not be a bad idea to... Oh, there's Blood Grove. To, to kill one of these spots, put down... Or kill... Oh, yikes. That wouldn't work that well. To kill this spot, put down a, a, a grove and then put a Blood Grove by it. Can't put a Blood Grove there. Put a Blood Grove here. Oh. Yeah, let's put a Blood Grove there. 
Sure. Yes, I know that means we can get a vampire with a blood golem, but I think we can handle that. And we're doing so much combat here that I feel like the extra little boost is going to be useful to, uh, to KO's village. Heals 25 upon entering, gives you a quest. So, does that makes it so spiders can't spawn there? Okay, uh, damage all, cool. Attack speed up, regen up, sure, I'll take it. God, we have so many meadows, please! What was that sound? Did we get, like, a really good material? New quest. How do I see this quest? What are you talking about? Oh, your... Plus, quest goal, plus 200% HP. Ooh. Yikes. I mean, it's not bad. Does it give us a lot more experience? Quest done. Great? Okay. Um... Ooh, quest failed. Ransacked village spawns up to four ghouls. Once per loop. Transform into something useful after three loops. Uh-oh. I, uh... Uh-oh. We failed our quest already. I guess I should not have done this. Alright. Come on. I really want to get that freaking, uh... What is it called? The treasury. I need that treasury so bad. Another grove. Don't mind that one bit. These can't spawn in the house, right? Those can't spawn in the base, can they? I've never tried. Oh, that's a big yes for me. I mean, they give us such good loot. Why am I supposed to break those? I mean, they get out of hands. Okay, so what's your deal again? Yeah, you just, uh, you're just a pretty rough unit, but you're actually, he was not even that bad. Road Lantern. Uh, strikes me as a good call. Just fighting three of those instead. Holy loot! And yet, and yet, I'm not going to take any of it, I don't think. It's wild. Come on, we got to draw one of these sometime, man. I'm, I'm a little concerned about what the ghouls are going to look like. Four ghouls once per loop. After three loops, turn into something useful. Oh my god. The hell? The actual hell? Road Lantern. We got another Oblivion. Uh, we don't need to save our Oblivions for the Lich's buildings anymore. We're doing really good for um, having literally no... Bandit camp? Spawns a bandit on adjacent tile every two days. Bandits prefer villagers. Appears for every two village tiles. Oh, no! Is that bad? God, I want to put down these meadows so bad. I think I'm going to just do it at some point here. It's taking too long. We're at full HP-ish. 10%. Oh, God, they have the vampirism. Well, I mean, they have to have the vampirism because we needed to spawn the um, the camp to make them show up. Did I get rid of the treasury? They're not that bad. But they also didn't give me any loot. Hmm. Oh, we're hurting. A 
Okay. Damage all defense up. Fine. Spiders, this should be nice and easy. Another crystal. Another crystal. All right. We're getting to the point where we really, uh, we really ought to just say screw this. We are going to start putting down some stuff. Uh... That'll help with those. It actually doesn't. Does it at all? I, for some reason, I thought that would duplicate them. Okay. Mm. Annoying. All right. We got another rock. What's this? Choose- Oh, what? Choose a new trait. The hero pushes- Rushes into battle head-on. His first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. Uh, armor's increased by one after every loop. Damage is increased by 20% of your defense value. Wow. Okay, well, that's massive. I can't believe we've just found that- Uh, we just found that now. Three episodes in, and finally we got our freaking treasury. Finally we got our treasury. Oh my god. Oh, that's so great. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's spawn another... Can't. What was that sound? Did we spawn in the camp? I don't think we did. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, four goblins going to be a little bit sketchier. So when that gets filled, we're going to uh, summon gargoyles. We kind of like that, though. They they weren't too bad. They don't benefit from the uh, from vampirism. And uh, what else was I going to say? Also, where's some crystal? We can put it here, I guess. You know what? So we can get that and duplicate it. It's value. There's another goblin camp. Um, It's a little much, don't you think? Damage goes up too with that. Max HP up 340. We lose a little bit of defense, aka damage as well, but we get, I think we, it's worth the trade-offs there. Oh boy. What's this? Enraged. Why is it enraged? Is it because I killed your friends? Grow up. Uh, but, 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 but we could keep holding on to these, or we could put down more. Ah. After three loops. Is it even going to turn into something useful? Are we going to, are we going to get to, or are we going to summon the dang lich before that is relevant. Hell if I know. Are we gaining HP now? We can't stand right there. Do the same sort of thing, I think, though. Up, 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 up. Means we put down the treasury. Wait. Da -da 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 -da. Means this is meadows. Means that's the treasury. Okay. Good. 
Works for me. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a level up thing. That's a ghost of a ghost! Oh. Yikes, it was a ghost of a ghost. Uh, card sharp. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. What, doesn't work for golden? What the hell is a golden card? Okay. God, this is so cool. What the hell? What a big mechanic to not have until now. All right, here comes scariness. Hello, scariness. Hey, I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. It's because I'm not. I see, and you think you can just wander these parts without consequences. Times are rough, you know, nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle. And we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. Well, you think you're better than us? No. Did I guess right? Is that the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you got insight. It's the only thing you'll keep today. Bandit. Has a soul. Not for long. Yeah, he was, uh, yeah, he was pretty easy. Come to think of it, murderers and thieves are just part of this world, too. My mission is to return everything back to normal. Should I be happy they're appearing again? On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world, so I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. Interesting. Okay. Theoretically, we should have done this down one in case we got the crystals. Oh, well. I don't think we're going to make it to the part where that's going to matter. All right. Body him. Oh, if only we were up by the grove. Uh, defense slightly down. Tax be slightly up. Counter up. Vampirism up. We lose a little bit of what? A little bit of damage to all. That's fine. I think we do that. All right. Mountain. Another treasury. We've not gotten a dupe yet from card sharp with a P. Okay. Maybe this meadow. Oh, this is getting a little spooky. Out. Okay. Oh, should we ditch this fight? Should we kill it? Oh, this is rough. Come on, counters. Okay, we got a road lantern. We just got something. I don't know what. Uh, okay, road lantern. Which spot is it? That's this one? Oh, my God. Already has a road lantern. Just probably should start building the mountains over here after that gets. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if it gets clumped up. I mean, well, we've already got the adjacency there, so it would just be... I mean, I don't know. It's for the health at this point if we did that. Yeah, we've not gotten a single duplicate there. Uh, big HP upgrade. Magic damage, damage to all... Yeah, sure. Defense down. Pretty satisfied with that stuff. We're actually, yeah, we're doing, we're doing okay. We are doing a okay. So that, oh, that experience is when we get the new stat thing. Ah, of course, of course. Let's take it. All right. 
I mean, that ups our damage quite a bit, and it ups our defense, obviously. I've made a grave mistake. I put it one too far to the left. As mentioned, though, you know what? It's probably not going to matter. Because I don't think we're actually going to fill up that stuff before... Uh... Yeah, we've got not gotten a single one of our duplicates from Card Sharp, if I even remember correctly. 10% chance. Yeah. Doesn't work for the golden cards. I guess I don't know what those are, but I assume that that's not a, a golden card. Play. Oh, shoot. We're starting to fill it up. <laughs> Want to get the uh, the treasury filled out if I can. All right, we got a gargoyle fight, which should be pretty good for us. Another meadow. I got a rock. Okay, we put the rock there, then the rest of them we start building right here, I guess, because we know we're going to build some groves. Yeah. Oh, the gargoyle fight is so good for us. Still no card sharp. Oh, this it hurts. <laughs> oh, oh God, that's so cursed what I just did. Oh, that's so cursed. Done it. Completed. Completified. So they're just going there. I mean, how many how many areas do we really have left? Genuinely, let's just put this here so we can hopefully fill this out by three before this uh, this run is done here, so that we get the huge payout for completing the treasury. Might fight some ghosts. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking we might spawn the lich any minute here. And I'm thinking we might die to the lich. Are all the spots around base filled out? It's the big old Q of the D there. That one's not. Are we going to actually add three vampires to the fight if we do that, though? I guess we can just Oblivion. We'll just Oblivion what he spawns instead of putting something there, just in case that is the, the factor. We have two Oblivions. We can we can even Oblivion the uh, one of the vampire things, just in case, after the fact. Awesome. Okay, I think it's going to happen right now. Oh, no. He angry! Kill the angry one, you fool! What are you doing? Oh, God. Welcome to bandit hell. Are they really that bad? Why are we splitting our damage so much? Uh-oh. This is bad. Uh... Excuse me? Um. Okay. Well, that was terrible. Oh, I just want to fill it out. I want to fill it out so bad. We're so dead. We're so dead. Here comes the, uh, the boss spawn, maybe? Ah, it's based off of the tiles you place? Question mark? All right, uh, with this in mind, I guess we will... I'm gonna Oblivion that, because it's terrifying. Gonna Oblivion... So 
So it's still a ransacked village, even if we got rid of it. Uh, I have concerns. Please just give me one rock, mountain, or meadow, please. Literally any of those. So that I can fill out that treasury before we're inevitably going to die here. Okay, good. It's not the best. Like, obviously, a meadow would be better for us. But I'm just going to do it so we get the guaranteed resource payout. I'm ready to die. I'm so toast. It's not even funny. <laughs> Those should get boosted. Give us a little bit of some, some, a little bit of je ne sais quoi. By mountain, I guess. Just give us a little bit of. I mean, what what are what are our chances of victory here? About zero. I was hoping we would heal. I thought I would maybe be clever. How is it possible? Shut up. Uh, we're dead. It's not possible. That's how. Yeah, we only take 94 now, but we are at just a much lower amount of HP. This is just not feasible. Come on, potion. Those potions have been used up. I'm so mad. Dodge. Dodge it, you! Got to be kidding me. Uh, I can't get any of that stuff, but we have, I mean, it doesn't mean that the resources are not useful. Can we upgrade anything that we have? I can only assume no. Correct. Uh, I mean, obviously, obviously we can win. We are so freaking close that it's really annoying. Two, <laughs> two runs. Both, literally, one exact hit away. Oh, that's maddening. That's maddening. But alas, that's going to do it for today. This has been Loop Hero. Make sure to hit the like button and comment down below because those are two great ways to help out. Uh, especially since a lot of people are going to be covering this game. A lot of people have been covering this game. Uh, it, it'll be awesome if you want to help support this series. You know, if uh, you've been watching this one and it's just been it's been good enough to watch from start to finish, then it's probably good enough to hit the like button on, right? Wouldn't you think? I would think so. But that's going to do it for today. Make sure to check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.